गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू सोशोलॉजी एनालिटिका दिस इज पूजा प्रसन्ना योर सोशोलॉजी फैकल्टी सो फ्रॉम टूडे आई एम स्विचिंग टू पेपर टू दैट इज इफ यू हैव ऑब्जर्व द टाइम टेबल आई एम मिक्सिंग बोथ पेपर वन एंड एज वेल एज पेपर टू द रीजन इज दैट बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स आर ओवरलैपिंग सो आई वॉन्ट स्टूडेंट्स टू गो साइड बाई साइड बिकॉज इफ वी ओनली डू पेपर वन एंड देन वेन वी गो टू पेपर टू सो स्टूडेंट्स मे टेन टू फर्गेट सम टॉपिक्स ऑफ पेपर वन सो दैट इज वाई एम गोइंग साइमल्टेनियसली फ्रॉम पेपर वन टू दैट ऑफ द पेपर टू so in today's topic so we'll cover paper 2 thinkers okay first we'll start with paper 2 thinkers and first and foremost is gs gore okay so the question i uh, see and also coming to the paper 2 see uh, most of the paper to the topics are very simple uh, that is most of the things we would have studied in paper 1 itself especially politics religion work and economic life social change all these we would have studied there only only thing is whenever we come to paper 2 some of the concepts you have to take from paper 1 and then we have to write from paper 2 that is indian context so how to write indian context so, two simple things one is uh, instead of putting uh, western thinkers you have to put indian thinkers you know when you write the answer and secondly you have to keep giving uh, indian examples okay whatever the indian societal examples are there you have to give those examples okay did you understand and also a uh, lot of you have doubts whether where to add the current affair question like where to add current affair part uh, where to add schemes where to add uh, you know all these current affair related issues see uh, it depends on the question okay mostly the first few chapters like thinkers uh caste system tribes and all this pretty much it will be um you know pretty much it will be a uh, static okay i'm not saying dynamic will not be there dynamic that is analysis will be there but from the current affairs perspective it will less you know uh, less will come from the current affair perspective that is the subsequent chapters as we go in the paper 2 subsequent chapters a uh, more of current affairs you know will be included so there you have to put you know different schemes different policies and programs five year plans etc etc in your answer okay did you understand this and also a lot of you uh, do have a question that mom from where to study do we have to study extra for uh, <clears throat> sociology current affairs anything we need to do extra no we don't you don't have to do anything extra whatever you do for your gs means okay the same thing you can do here also that is your uh, everyday current affairs whatever you study from your uh, newspaper along with that you can do little bit of mags and especially you can do epw it's always better to do to do epw because uh, epw covers uh, a sociological analysis of any topic be it women be it sc st be it anything to that matter so they actually analyze from a sociological point of view so along with your um, current affairs you can also little bit go through the epw part also epw uh, <clears throat> magazines also okay um now coming to the first question that is write a note on gs gore's indological perspective of understanding indian society okay it's a 10 mark per question write a note on gs uh, gore's indological perspective of understanding indian society so this is a pretty much straightforward question from i have taken from the previous year itself so what they are asking what is gs gore's understanding on uh, indian society and which perspective he has used which method he has used he has used indological perspective so using this you have to start, you have to you know uh, um, tell how he has understood the indian society so this is the pretty much the most simplest form of question you can ever get okay very simple so all the things whatever he has studied how he has studied almost everything you can include see the thing is it depends on how much marks they are giving if it's 10 marker you can write few points if it is 20 marker more points with little elaboration of those points like that it depends on how much to write based on the marks it is given so 10 mark that means you have to write for uh, 150 words okay you have to write only 150 words around in and around 150 words so what i'm going to start with his general view how did he view uh, his uh, you know how how did he view, how did he view indian society as yes. his in according to him indian society is unique that is no other society as indian society so we cannot possibly study from european context because most of the sociologists were europeans uh, so they had studied studied european society or some of them had studied american society so what in the gure said that is that we cannot study uh, sociology uh, indian sociology this so society the way they study european society we have to study from the indian context itself okay so it should be understood in terms of conception and theories specific to indian society this itself is nothing but indology indology is nothing but studying specifically from the indian society okay next according to him indian society is nothing but hindu society in fact in many of his text he don't he won't be on using indian society he will be using hindu society itself 
See, whenever he uses the word Hindu society, it actually reflects what what does he mean? He actually means Indian society itself. Okay, Hindu is nothing but India. So what he tells is that in order to understand Indian society, we need to understand Hindu traditions first. Okay, because culture have been assimilated into that is Hindu culture have been assimilated to Christian fold, Muslim fold, or any tribal fold, almost every other fold. So that is why it is important for us to understand the Hindu tradition. Next, according to him, understanding Indian uh, Hindu society than giving solution to the problem faced in hindu society so what he wanted to understand what he did is that let's try to understand what are the culture what are the tradition what are the norms and values because if we understand that maybe we can understand what the society is okay because most of the british anthropologists most of the british british anthropologists or the british surveyors or you know in general britishers what they try to do was they try to give solution to the problem whatever the problem it was facing in indian society they try to give a solution without understanding the society so what guru emphasized let's understand first then if it is required then we'll give a solution rather than directly giving solution to the problems of hindu society or indian society next he viewed society as what continuity from the past in terms of historical moorings okay continuity from the past that is indian society you take anything to that matter you take caste system so you take caste system it has been almost from the vedic time period tribes are continuing with their culture isn't it so whatever the norms and values culture or the institution to that matter see joint family has been there since since you know times immem immemorial so what gure says is that indian society in order to understand the continuity of indian society how things are changing okay how things are changing we need to understand from historical moorings we need to understand from the historical point in order to understand how things have been continuing in the society okay moving on he also understands order and change in society okay order is the static aspects order is nothing but static aspect change is nothing but the dynamic aspect of the society how did he how did he understand order he understood order in terms of institutions which are present that is the static institutions which are present in a indian society like caste system religion village also tribes okay etc and then he understood change from what continuity from the past i mean just now here we understood that and also not just that the process of change in terms of british influence that is how did society changed after the coming up of britishers so two ways that is one how things are continuing from the past okay and next how britishers help uh, how britishers role uh, you know led to the changes in the indian society so this is how he understood the static as well as the dynamic aspect of indian society understood next see if the place is there if the place is left you can uh, further talk about the attributional approach of caste that is uh, he can talk about caste that is how did he understand caste one one you know one point about caste you can write any point you whatever point you want to add on caste system you can actually add on caste system what i have done is i have taken the attributional approach of caste so uh, according to him uh, when uh, he, when he wanted to discuss about the a uh, caste system he took the attribution approach that is he discussed to the features of caste system so you can write the six features whatever he it has been given by gure okay segmental division of labor purity and pollution hierarchy civil and res uh, religious disability hereditary nature of caste as well as endogamy see if you write attribution approach these features you have to write as it is you cannot change because this specifically given by gure so specifically you have to write suppose let's say you are not able to remember this you write some other point okay but don't uh, if you are writing attribution you have to write these six features itself next what i have done is i have taken the his understanding of tribal okay his understanding of tribal uh, so what did he do he rejected a british anthropologists uh, view of isolation of tribals why because he called tribes as nothing but backward hindus okay he called tribes as backward hindus he says that uh, tribes have been almost assimilated into the hindu fold itself so they are nothing but backward hindus did you understand so let's say that if little bit more places there okay more places there what you can do is you can actually write about culture okay how did he understand culture he understands culture by diffusion and acculturation diffusion and acculturation so like this what i am trying to say is that as this is just a 10 marker question so how much over it is 10 10 mark you can write those points if it is 20 mark you can add as many points from gure's perspective many gure i mean overall gure whatever gure has studied overall you can actually keep on adding the points you can add more points under tribe itself or you can add more points under caste itself you can actually add religion 
okay that is in religion he has studied indian sadhu civilizations okay religion and civilization all that you can have only thing is it is based on how much space is left and also how much marks did you understand i hope i have given you overall understanding of how to write uh, gure in general or you know paper 2 in particular we'll go in subsequently we'll understand the, uh, you know the paper 2 context itself okay uh, in case if you have any further doubt please drop your queries in the comment section i will keep checking your comment section i'll also keep reading your answers also i do read many of you are writing very good answers and i'm very happy to see that uh, most of you are continuing writing with answers i'm very happy with that uh, i can also see uh, you know improvement in some of the answers also many of you are improving also many are trying very hard i am very happy to see those answers okay i'll see you all tomorrow with gurez okay i'll see you all one more question of gurez i'll see you all tomorrow thank you so much